What is up, my fellow interwebians? I am Logan, the Totally Epic Gamer. Y'all know me. I am the number one Skyrim video maker of all time. I have fixed all my Skyrim problems. Um, I don't know where they came up from, but I I just started, you know, getting rid of things and putting them back up, and then look, I've fixed it now. Um, so this is the tactic I have found to kill dragons, uh, or at least your very first dragon. The very first dragon is not too challenging, you have a lot of teammates with you, but the, the challenging part is your gear is very mediocre, uh, let's say that. It's uh, a lot less than mediocre. It's, it's The gear you start out with is pretty shitty. Uh, you don't really have anything to call your own or anything to be like, yeah, this is frigging awesome and I made this or I got this out of the hardest dungeon in the game or anything like that. You don't really have that. You, you don't have that option. Really. Um, so this is the best way to get rid of the dragon, uh, by far. Just you get a lot of bow and arrows, uh, or arrows throughout the game, and all you do is just stay up here while the dragon gets shot at by your teammates and shot at by you. Um, the reason this is the best and melee is not the best is because melee is extremely hard to do on this dragon. You see how he's hovering right now? I can still hit him with bows and arrows. Uh, I cannot hit him with uh, melee right now. Uh, I can still hit him with bow and arrow right now. It's difficult, but it's possible. With melee, I have to wait until he absolutely touches down. He's right here. He's going for me now. So uh, what I need to do is go in here. And there we go. I'm safe. I took a little bit of damage, but I'm not dead. I did not take the full frontal blast of it. Um, and my teammates are still alive. And he left me alone because he couldn't attack me anymore. So as you see, that tactic works. This or this tactic right now works very well. I can barely see him right now because of the smoke. Um, and also, if he's way over there, you have a better chance of hitting him from around here um, than you do up on the top roof. So it's a little bit easier this way too. Um, I think I'm the only one hitting him right now. Um, you can kill him with melee, but the thing is, it's not really you killing him, in, in all seriousness. I, I've done it, I think, about six times as melee. And every time I do it, I try, I've try. i tried killing my whole team, and then killing the dragon. And um, I have done it. I, I have killed him. It takes a really, really long time, and a lot of waiting for your Magicka to restore. It's a waste of time. Don't do it like that. You will pick up arrows along the way, and you have bow and arrows. If not, just wait for your team to kill him. It's a lot faster than trying to kill him one on one with melee. Um, so let's see what he dropped here. He dropped. Uh, we got a really good drop actually. Uh, we got uh, three dragon skills and three dragon bones. The very first dragon uh, will actually differ uh, in when he drops. Uh, it's kind of just a chance kind of thing. Uh, you just gotta hope that he drops what you're looking for. Um, in if that makes sense at all. Um, let me give you a better uh, kind of example. So. The very first time I killed the dragon, I looted him, and what I received was not three dragon bones and three dragon scales, but one dragon bone and one dragon scale. And dragon bones and scales are extremely, extremely expensive. So um, I killed him the next time to do it with uh, melee so I could get a feel for both and how it worked. And the melee time I killed him, I got two dragon scales and three dragon bones. And this time I got three, three. I think three is the cap, so I think I just got the best that you can get. But if you only get one of each, uh, redo this part and kill the dragon again, see if you can get better loot. Because that's not the best loot you can get. You can get a lot better than that. Um, believe it. Yeah, this dude just dragon tells me that I'm dragonborn. Um, like that. Dragonborn basically means that I can use shouts if I just press, uh, if I just do tab right here, go to magic. This is where you get your very first shout. Um, you get the words earlier. Oof. And there we go, Z to shout. And if you see my top bar where my map uh, indicator is, you see it's slowly decreasing. That is uh, my shout being ready soon. Uh, so once it reaches the end, it's getting there, it's getting there. And there we go, and now I can use it again. Oof. And that's how the dragon shout works. Uh, what the dragon shout actually does is it just moves everybody and does very minimal damage, but it staggers them. So very, very good shout, especially for early, if you're having trouble with... People, I'll just show you right now. It, it goes decently far. And boom. It takes a while to get to places, but there's three guys right there. If you see, their their health barely went down, but they did stagger, which was great. And so that's how you kill the dragon, guys. That is the best way to kill it. Go up to the top, shoot down on it. Don't try and kill it with melee. It's a waste of time, and it doesn't make you tougher for killing it with melee, believe me. That's all, guys. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure you guys subscribe if you want more Skyrim videos, and I will show you how to kill the rest of the dragons. No teammates, anything. Peace out.